Hello to all my Scorpio friends out there. I hope that you're doing very well during this time. This is going to be just like an energy um, update check-in uh, because the energies have shifted since we had that solar eclipse and the new moon. So I want to see how that energy shift is affecting us. I'm uploading these in order of most viewed um, to um, most viewed interacted with and, uh, to least. But I, I've been mixing up this last these last few uploads just to kind of mix things up. A tiny bit um so if you would like your video featured earlier next time that i upload just make sure to interact with this it helps me figure out what you guys like to watch and helps me to improve the channel so if you would like to do that please do so um so what is happening for scorpio during this time please thank you spirit guides what is happening for scorpio during this time please um, thank you Oh, geez. What is happening for Scorpio this time? Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, so uh, apparently a lot of stuff, stuff is happening for you. Okay. Okay, damn. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles did come out in reverse, so... Um, that makes me think that there kind of is some sort of misalignment within your stability or abundance during this time. Um, and it seems like there is some sort of generosity coming your way. Or potentially this could be you giving um, giving to others. Um, I wonder if maybe your generosity could be hindering you to an extent during this time. Yeah, I'm sent. Okay. Yeah, because I'm sensing there's some sort of a connection between the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Pentacles upright. So I'm sensing that maybe you're giving a little bit too much to others and it's kind of, as a result, it may be impacting your own um, stability and abundance. With the Four of Cups, there is some sort of misconnection here or like missed opportunity. Maybe it's something that's kind of like lingering in your mind. Something about the past, potentially. Um... With the Wheel of Fortune, it's indicating that there is some sort of changes happening for you. So I wonder if this is changes that are happening in the regard of, um, yeah, and when it comes to your finances or your abundance and stability within yourself. Um, the Three of Wands came out, but it did come out sideways. And I read the sideways cards, and since it's pointed to the left, it makes me think that um, maybe you're you're finding yourself a little bit held back during this time because when this is um, upright, this is indicating like actively planning to move towards something, um, especially something that you're passionate about and you have a lot of faith in. So I wonder if you're kind of losing a little bit of faith during this time and maybe um, a little bit skeptical about what lays ahead potentially, or maybe if something may not be worth moving towards. So that could be something that's kind of hindering you during this time potentially. Um, the High Priestess came out, and that is indicating that you are a very um, intuitive person, deeply intuitive, and highly spiritual. You might be, um, yeah, I'm getting like you're very spiritual and you're highly intuitive, so there might be something that is important about paying attention to your intuition during this time. Could be a reminder for you to really tap into that. With the Queen of Swords, I'm getting this feeling of potentially... I wonder if you're guarding your heart, because the Queen of Swords can sometimes be a little bit um, head over heart, but it could also be that you're um, potentially putting down some boundaries that are much needed. Hmm. Yeah, what else for Scorpio? Please and thank you. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So, the Death card just came out. So I'm sensing there is some sort of major transformation happening within your life. Also, if I'm not mistaken, is the death card... I believe that the death card is uh, represents Scorpio energy. So I wonder if you're becoming more aligned to your nature... Um, and maybe you're going with the flow when it comes to some sort of transformation in your life. Even if it may feel a little bit tumultuous, I'm sensing you might be trusting in, in, um, the universe rather to kind of just like go with the flow and trust that things are going to work out for the best. 
with the king of cups um this could actually be you very very much in your power um as a water sign you know being very emotionally like very deep emotions very emotionally available emotionally mature um and it could be potentially what you're looking for maybe you're looking for somebody to be a reflection of all those good things um yeah, I want to see about this death transformation. Please clarify the death card for me, please, and thank you, Spirit Guide. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, so the first card to come out was the Justice card. So I do feel like this um, major transformation in your life is going to bring about a strong sense of justice. And I feel like... Yeah, I feel like this goes back to the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things are changing in your favor, and I feel like you do not see them coming. And as a result of these changes, it's going to bring about this balance and justice within your life. Uh, the Queen of Wands came out as well to um, clarify this death card. So I wonder if this could be something to do with some sort of creative or creation. Some sort of creation, transformation, justice, and creation. Hmm. And the Page of Swords came out as well. So this is indicating to me that there is some sort of, um, I don't want to say necessarily a blockage, but there could be some sort of delay. Hmm. I'm really curious about this Queen of Wands energy, actually. Let me clarify that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so Eight of Wands clarifies that Queen of Wands. So I do see, this is, again, um, indicating some sort of sudden change. Um, and usually the with the Eight of Wands, it's always a positive change. Could even be an, um, some sort of message, uh, which would make sense because the Eight of Wands sometimes can indicate some sort of incoming message that comes in hot and fast. Um, and the Page of Swords can sometimes indicate some sort of message that this um, page is um, going to be communicating some sort of message. But the Page of Swords can also have to do with delays. So... Um, it, it, it could be possible that there is some sort of message that will bring about um, transformation and justice into your life, um, but it could be delayed. It really wants to come in fast, but I, I sense that there is some sort of delay, and that could just be that it's just not the right time for this transformation to take place. Um, at least not just yet. And usually it's not indicating like a very lengthy way, I would say. It's not like anything that's going to take years, I don't think. Um, I think that this is going to happen relatively soon, but not super soon is kind of how I see that. Can I get a final outcome for Scorpio? Please and thank you. Can I get a final outcome for Scorpio during this time? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so the first one to pop out was the Hierophant. It's so interesting. I'm getting a lot of reoccurring, um, cards today, um, with all of the readings. They're kind of overlapping with energy. It's very interesting. Uh, with the Hierophant, I'm sensing it could be some sort of love connection, um, commitment of some sort, or it could have to do with, um, your spirituality, which again, you know, I with the high priestess coming out earlier, you're highly intuitive and you're very spiritual. So there could be some sort of call to spirituality during this time. With the Seven of Wands in reverse, upright, this is all about um, overcoming your demons, um, overcoming things that seem stack, stacked against you, um, pretty much like overcoming, um, doing something that leads them to success. Um, so in the reverse, I wonder if you're kind of feeling the opposite of that right now. Maybe you feel like overwhelmed by all of your demons. Maybe you feel overwhelmed by the odds that are stacked against you and the, the things that you have to battle in order to move forward. Um, so I wonder if that's how you're feeling during this time. Whether or not that is true or not, it could be just related to your feelings. The moon card came out. This is all about, you know, secrecy um, and intuition again, going back. And it's really funny that this is coming out in your final outcome because I find the high priestess and the moon to be quite similar because they do have that intuition, that secrecy about them. 
So I wonder if there is something about tapping into your intuition because there might be some sort of message there for you within your intuition, within, um, I don't know if you speak to your spirit guides um, whatsoever, um, but maybe that could even be potentially helpful for you during this time because I feel like there is some sort of message for you that you should know. And to end your final outcome here is the Ten of Cups, which is absolutely amazing here. So I feel like, you know, the, the, the Ten of Cups is absolutely your wish fulfillment when it comes to emotional fulfillment. Um, and it's like, sometimes I even see it as exceeding your wildest dreams. Like you dreamed up to an extent and this goes beyond that. Um, which that's kind of how I view the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is really like you did not see having this beautiful family, the house, the, you know, this, you know, complete emotional fulfillment and like just feeling like you have it all, um, being on top of the world really. Um, and I feel like it's so funny. I mentioned this in a reading earlier, um, the moon card, um, with the secret, it's like, I've noticed that. The universe really loves to keep things secret, especially when it comes to positive surprises. Um, because, you know, sometimes we'll be going through the most darkest period of our lives and then suddenly it just like switches and something beautiful happens that we did not expect. And um, I'm wondering if that's what's going to happen for you is like when you least expect it, this wonderful thing is going to come towards you. And obviously it's going to bring about so much fulfillment within you. Um, yeah, this is really beautiful. I, I'm, I am sensing that even though you could be struggling a little bit um, within mostly, it doesn't seem like it's too much on the outside. Um, but, you know, you could be struggling a little bit internally during this time. But I think... Um, looking towards the future with optimism is super important, um, and getting in touch with your, your intuition, your spirituality, I think is super important during this time as well. And just trust in the universe to have your back. Um, at the bottom of the deck is the world card. So, you know, this is indicating that you have been closing out some really major cycles in your life. So... First off, you should be very proud of yourself because um, some people do not get to that point in their spiritual journey. Um, or they don't get there for quite some time. But it seems like you're closing out some really major um, karmic cycles and you're. I feel like you're becoming aligned to your divine path in life. And I feel like as a result, the universe is really proud of you and is going to be sending some sort of blessing your way um, that will cause this emotional fulfillment for you. So um, yeah, it's really beautiful here. So Scorpio, I hope that you really enjoyed this reading and I hope that you stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you. Bye.